Hi, my name is Bud Hunt. I'm an instructional technology coordinator in northern Colorado. Uh, I'm a father of three, I'm a husband of one, and I'm a blogger at uh, budtheteacher.com. Uh, I've been a high school English teacher and now uh, an instructional technologist for the last 10 years uh, together, five years doing each. And uh, recording this video today to respond to some of Dean's ideas in his presentation called The Seriousness of Silly. Um, what you're looking at uh, on the screen here is a, a picture that is on my desktop uh, at work. And it's a picture that I put up often. It's there staring me in the face every morning when I boot up, but I also uh, travel with it and I, I keep it close. Uh, this is my middle daughter, Tegan. Uh, she'll be five in a few weeks. Uh, and the face she's making uh, was made on the day that her sister, Quinn, who's now two, was born. Tegan knew that uh, when you're sad, you're supposed to cheer people up by doing something silly. And her, her brand new sister, I mean, literally minutes, uh, if not hours old, in the hospital, this is the hospital room, uh, was crying like babies do. She was crying for a bunch of reasons. Um, she wasn't bored. She was just new, figuring out what was going on. And her sister, uh, not quite three-year-old, uh, knew that being silly would make it better. So she started doing what? she does when she's being silly, which is she makes faces, because they make me laugh, and they make her mother laugh, and they make her sister laugh, so of course they make her new sister laugh. Uh, I think this is a good reminder of um, um, how silliness uh, belongs in important situations. Uh, we were just celebrating a, a very exciting moment as a family, and Tegan was meeting her sister for the first time, and this uh, image reminds me of the power of silly. Um, I know Dean's going to talk with you today about uh, some of the ways that he's silly in, in the spaces where he is online. Um, I, I think you can take silly too far. I think you can, can seem unprofessional. Uh, but I also think that one of the things that's neat uh, about social media right now, and particularly a lot of the tools that I'm sure Dean's talking to you about, some of the situations he's found himself in, is that we have the opportunity to present a bigger picture of ourselves than just our, our solitary professional uh, self. Um, and we never were just our professional selves, but when the, the only thing that you knew of somebody was the hour that you spent with them in a, in a hotel room uh, or a ballroom, or hotel ballroom rather, uh, not a hotel room, uh, there's a silly thought for you. Uh, I think those moments are, are, um, are better informed. Uh, the, the picture's fuller because we have these social media spaces where I can learn things about Dean's uh, uh, Stainsky challenge, you know, that, that he's got... Uh, 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 sort of a penchant for spilling, and, and he's turned that into something that he shares. Um, I, I think it's silly that whenever I grill now in my uh, deck, I, I'll, I'll tell the world. I'll take a picture sometimes of what's uh, going on the grill or what's coming off the grill. Uh, it, it doesn't do a thing in terms of professional self, but it, it, it does paint a fuller picture of who I am and what I'm about. And I think that in a time where uh, a lot of folks are, are starting to prescribe very dangerous uh, rules for you must never friend the student or you must never use a space like this. I think we should really push back on that. There are uh, just a quick idea I want to leave you with. Uh, as an English teacher, we dealt with, with grammar. Uh, and there are two ways that people think about grammar. One way is, is the descriptive way. How is somebody using language? How is somebody putting using a comma or quotation marks or, or a sentence structure or incomplete sentence structure or fragments? So, so descriptive grammarians pay attention and they describe what they see, and, and that's what they do. Prescriptive grammarians do something very different. Uh, what they do is they tell you how you're supposed to behave. Um, they, they tell you how to use language. Never begin a sentence with a conjunction. Never end a sentence with a preposition. Um, those aren't really useful uh, ways of, of looking at language most of the time. Uh, for example, the preposition thing uh, comes out of Latin. Uh, it turns out you can't uh, end a sentence with a preposition in Latin because the language doesn't allow you to. Uh, descriptive grammarians understand that. English is different. We can do different things with our language. Uh, but prescriptive grammarians got hung up on what we used to do and how that was. Uh, I think uh, Dean may have shared with you the, the Clay Shirky quote that uh, Facebook uh, is, is an awful lot like Facebook. You know, It's a new experience. It's a new environment. And what I want to bring into new environments, and I hope you want to bring into new environments, and I think Dean wants to bring into new environments, are the best of ourselves. And, and, and maybe some of the best of us is a little bit fuller packaged than the formal 
uh, selves that we are. Now that doesn't mean we let it all <laughs> hang out, um, but, it, but it does mean maybe that we can afford to be silly. Uh, when we have the ability to publish anything to anyone, anywhere, at any time, maybe we can uh, afford to use a few of those publication moments for lighter moments, for Tegan moments, for making faces, uh, for trying to bring comfort, for being kind, uh, for looking after each other, for sharing frustrations. I mean, just, just being ourselves and trying to be the best that we can be. So there's a few of my thoughts on, on being silly on the web. Uh, don't know if they're useful to you, but I hope they are. hope you're enjoying your time with Dean. Uh, I suspect you are. He's a, a smart dude, and he knows some good stuff. So uh, I, I hope that uh, this was useful for you. Rock on with your bad selves, and if you ever get stuck, uh, make a Tegan face. Uh, might be useful. <laughs>